we talk all the time about, you know, there's a, clearly a difference between smartphone and tablet, but that doesn't always come across in what marketers do as far as their apps go. Um, for this one, it's really unique in that Shazam is obviously seeing two very, in my opinion, very different groups of users. You have people who want to Shazam a song maybe while they're, you know, in the car, or they're at a, at a store, that kind of thing. Obviously, that's going to be geared more towards a smartphone. They also have this up and coming, um, something they've been really pushing and aggressively going into recently and maybe in the last past couple of years is TV and being able to Shazam ads with advertisers. And so the iPad app, this new app that they've released, really plays that up, it, you know, the thing basically like syncs in the background and you don't have to necessarily press the Shazam button to tag content anymore. It, the whole purpose is that it kind of does it for you and is supposed to eliminate one step out of the process um, and hopefully make that whole seamless experience a little bit easier for consumers. Great, thank you.